Hey guys, what is going on? So today I gotta do a quick video. We are in the middle of moving, so my whole apartment is just in shambles. So I'm just gonna show you guys a real quick tip. If you have back pain, some drills you can do to help reduce your back pain. The first exercise I have is a straight leg curl up. And you might be thinking, oh, curls are bad for your back. Well, it depends on how you do them. So with this version, you are going to keep your legs super straight. You need to keep the back of your knees and your heels into the floor the whole time. If they lift up and you have to use your momentum to get up into the curl, then you're doing it improperly. So if you need to use a resistance band or a jump rope or something to help you up so you can keep your legs down, that's what's important. The purpose of this exercise is to retrain your body so that you use your abdominals more than your hip flexors. So if your legs come up off the floor while you're trying to do the curl up, that means you're using your hip flexors to help with lumbar flexion, which is something that can cause back pain. The second drill I'm doing is a rotational stretch. It's similar to an open book, but I think this one works a lot better. So my left leg is on the floor, my knee is stuck to the ground, and then I try to open up my shoulders as much as I can without lifting up my knee. And you can kind of see I'm kind of jerking a little bit, and that's because I am trying to reach to the ceiling with my right hand and push my left knee down into the floor. So it's almost like I'm wringing my spine out like a wet rag. This is really good if you get a lot of back spasms, especially in those muscles that go like right alongside your spine. So the last drill I'm doing is a leg lowering progression. The version I'm doing is a little bit more advanced, so if this is too hard, I would recommend putting one of your feet on the floor and just lowering one of your feet with some support. So the whole purpose of this exercise is to make sure that your leg that's in the air is very stable. You don't want it to move or rock while you're lowering your other leg. The other cue I like to use is make sure that your back stays flat on the floor. You don't want to arch. You really want to think about sucking your stomach in. This exercise is good for stability in your core, especially your low abs. So if you have stronger low abs, that's going to contribute to hip stability, which in turn will contribute to a stable back. So there you have it, three different drills that you can do to help reduce your low back pain. So if you guys have any questions about these, leave me a comment, I will answer them. You can also check out my website, it's in the description, and you can contact me through there. So, see you guys next week!